Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to download R and also R Studio and how to install it. It's actually very easy. So the first thing we do is we go to Google, um, you look for the official R website, which is called the Comprehensive R Archive Network. You can click on it and here you already have your, your R download, so you can choose whatever you want depending on your operating system. So in my case, I have Windows, so I will download R for Windows. Um, if you have to install it for the first time, very straightforward, you click this link, and then you say download. So you download, or you save the file first, and once it's downloaded, um, you can run it. So we're gonna do it right now. You choose your language. We'll choose English and this you can very simply accept if you want to install it somewhere else uh, here you can browse we're just going to install it on the C drive in my case I'm only going to be using the 64-bit files but doesn't matter you can you can click everything um, you can accept defaults very straightforward and that's it if you want the desktop shortcut you can click this but I wouldn't do that because we're not going to be using R anyway. Uh, we're going to be using R Studio. So you do this. And in the meantime, while this is running, uh, we go back to Google. And then we search for R Studio. R Studio will be using R. So we need R in order for R Studio to work. So we go to the website, uh, we click on download. Again, it's the same procedure. So this has finished by now. Then we're gonna choose the free version, right? You don't need the expensive versions for anything. You can just use the free one, um, unless you have a big company. So again, download. Uh, in my case, I have Windows, so I can just click the download for Windows. If you have another operating system, you can find your files right here. So we're gonna do this. Again, save it. And the moment that's done, shouldn't take too long, it's quite small software. Um, we can open it. Again, yes. And it's the same procedure, so you install wherever you want to install. Um, you, can, you can just keep all the default settings. This will take a little bit longer than installing R itself, but normally it should be done in a couple of minutes. That's it. So we can finish this and now of course we want to find it somewhere. Um, let's just see. Our studio, there it is. We can start the program. We allow access. And you're ready to go. As you can see, I already had some uh, some packages installed here. Um, but normally, if you open this, it will be empty. So that's it.